Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, shall we? Well, we're up to the Spectre Slaying Flames solo mode. And we're going to learn about the Shiranui, who look like samurai or something like it. They employ the power of fire to slay specters. Their power burns fiercely through their demon swords and synchro summons. All right, experience supernatural powers that can connect dimensions. We will do that. Looks like demon slayers, huh? All right, cool. Let's check it out. Specter slaying flames. In that era of warring states, heroes across the lands were in conflict with each other. As some strived to unify the land, nations formed and perished and countless battles were waged. No place escaped the flames of battle, and the long enduring wars wrought havoc not only on the fields but also in the hearts of the people. And when the world was devastated, a unique type of monster appeared. The Spectres. The Spectres misled people and sometimes manipulated the wise into calling for more war. There was a young samurai who devoted his life to battling the Spectres. The samurai studied not only various schools of swordsmanship, but also the art of exorcism. Using the Shiranui-style method of fusion of the various arts, he sparked a war before anyone knew, along with like-minded people. The name of the samurai who vanquished countless specters had spread like ripples among them. In seeking his death, the specters attacked with a large army. Without losing a step, the Shiranui-style confronted the assault. But no matter how strong he was, the samurai was merely a human. In the end, he was overcome, and the specters trapped his spirit inside his beloved katana. Oh. Meanwhile, the specters decreased in number and lost much of their power, slinking back to the darkness from whence they came. The specters disappeared, but the time will come when they accumulate power and reappear. Though now a spirit sealed within his katana, the lore of battle and Shiranui-style techniques were passed on to posterity by his surviving comrades. Soon after the dark war between the young samurai and the specters, the world ceased to be at war. Peace had been restored, and an era when few knew of war was ushered in. The battle between Shiranui-style and the specters continued on. The current generation's successor is known as Shiranui Samurai. In this post-warring state world, the young warrior shows bravery and courage. Cool. Along with the Shiranui style synthesis, he united with the spirit of the founder of Shiranui and dove headlong into battle with the specters. Interesting. Okay. So now we know the story. Now it's time to learn what this deck's all about. We're going to learn the ins and outs. Okay. What makes a Shiranui deck unique? There are a plethora of Shiranui monsters whose effects allow you to banish cards and whose effects activate when they are banished themselves. The tuner Shiranui Spectral Sword, in particular, has an effect that allows you to summon, to special summon a synchro monster by banishing itself and another monster from the graveyard. If you take advantage of this effect well, not only will you be able to continuously special summon synchro monsters, but you will also be able to maximize the effects of banished Shiranui monsters. Okay. Alright, so they put down Getsu Fuma. Alright, let's draw ourselves a card. We got a gold sarcophagus. Banish one card banish one card from your deck face up during your second standby phase after this card's activation. Add that card to your hand. Interesting. 
Make use of the Shiranui monster effects to special summon synchro monsters and while using their effects to destroy your opponent's monsters, okay? You need tuner monsters to special summon a synchro monster. Activate Gold Sarcophagus and banish Shiranui Spectral Sword from your deck. Okay, so we're in main phase one, right? Luckily, we're going second, so we get a main phase two. So the Gold Sarcophagus isn't as good... Uh, well, it says during your second standby phase, after this card's activation. Oh, okay, maybe you do get a second standby phase, even if you go first. All right, they want us to banish this zombie tuner effect. Um, okay. It says if this card is in your graveyard, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can target one non-tuner zombie monster in your graveyard, banish both it and this card, and if you do... Special summon one zombie synchro monster from your extra deck, whose level equals the total levels of those two monsters had. You can only use this effect once per turn. Okay, so we're going to banish that card. And then we're going to activate Shiranui Style Synthesis. Okay. Um, and this is our field spell. And it says, once per turn, if you control no monsters, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, then activate one of these effects. Target one zombie-type monster with zero defense in your graveyard to special summon it, or target one of your banished zombie-type monsters with zero defense, return it to the graveyard. You can only do this once per turn. All right, so we're going to activate the field spell. Using this, um, return the banished spectral sword to your graveyard, okay? So we're going to activate the effect, and we're going to do number two to return the spectral sword. Oh, 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 right, right, right. Um, so we have to send this to the yard, okay, to do that. And then we're going to target this and put it back into the graveyard from Banishment. And then the Tuner Monster, uh, Shiranui Spectral Sword, in your graveyard, and the non-Tuner Monster are ready to go. Use the effect of the Spectral Sword to special summon the Synchro Monster, um, Shiranui Samurai Saga. All right. So we're going to go here, we're going to activate the effect, and we're going to do this select and we'll target our spirit master and then we can special summon from our extra deck this card Shiranui Samurai Saga um, and then it says once per turn during either player's turn you can target one of your banished zombie monsters shuffle it into the deck and if you do change to defense position all monsters your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to that monsters um, nice, okay. If you, this card is banished, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls. It loses 500 attack. All right, so we're going to do this then, and we're going to put this card out there. It's got 2,500 attack. The banished Spirit Master has the ability to destroy all face-up cards on your opponent's field. Oh, let's activate that effect. Yeah, let's do it. Um, so this guy, or actually girl, I don't know, Samurai... Spirit Master. Um, if this card is banished, you can target one face-up card your opponent controls and destroy it. You can only use the effect of all of these Spirit Masters once per turn. All right, so we're going to do it. It's in banishment, and we're just going to destroy their card. And luckily, they only have 2,500 hit points, and we're just going to attack them and go to battle phase. Uh, yes. Do it. That's what I'm talking about. Take that. Okay, cool. This is a tricky little deck. I wonder um, if samurai have any presence in the in the current meta, or if they're just an old uh, archetype that has fallen out of favor. All right, so we're gonna do the duel, and we're gonna play with the loner deck to clear this out first, just to get some practice. Okay. So it... They're going... My goodness. They've put down a bunch of stuff. Alright, so let's see what they've got. Alright, we got the Squire. Okay. Um, so they put down a Spirit Master of their own. And then they have a Salamandra, which is an equipped 
card that can only go on a fire monster to give it plus 700 attack, and this um, equips to a zombie and gives it 300 attack. Now, you know, the question I have is if I destroy the monster that these are equipped on, does the equipment go to the graveyard, or is it like Magic the Gathering equipment where it will stay out and then you can re-equip it? It looks like it's going to go to the yard because of the linking arrows, but I don't know. All right, so let's see what we've got here. We have Ghost Meets Girl. Um, if your opponent controls a monster, discard one zombie monster. Special summon one Shiranui monster with a different name from your deck or graveyard. Also, you cannot special summon monsters except zombie monsters for the rest of this turn after this card resolves. Um, okay, so it's, it lets me special summon. Um, this says, this card's name becomes Shiranui-style synthesis while in the spell and trap zone. Once per turn, you can activate one of these effects. Banish one zombie monster in your yard. The normal... Su and special summons of your zombie monsters cannot be negated for the rest of the turn. Or target one zombie monster you control, banish it, then you can send one zombie monster with zero defense from your deck to the yard. Okay. Alright, let's look at our um, uh, regular cards here, our monsters. So the Shiranui Squire says, when this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one Shiranui Spectral Sword monster from your hand or deck. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except zombie monsters. Okay, so similar effect. Um, then, if this card gets banished, you can draw a card and discard a card, all right? This says um, you can tribute summon one zombie monster, uh, or you can use this to tribute. And then, special summon one zombie tuner with zero defense from your deck. If this card is banished, you can target one of your banished Shiranui monsters, except this, or up to two if style synthesis is on the field and special summon them. Oh, okay. So, I want to get this on the field then. And its name is changed. Okay. And then what about you? Um... You can banish one zombie monster from your graveyard. This card gains 600 attack, and if it does, banish any monster that battled this card. Oh. After damage calculation, these effects last until the end of the turn. If this card is banished, you can target one uh, Shiranui monster in your yard and add it to your hand. And then the Spirit Master says when I normal summon it, uh, I can special summon one Shiranui monster from my hand or yard, except this, but banish it when it leaves the field. If this card is banished, um, I can target one face-up card they control and destroy it. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay. Alright. So, I probably want to get my Spectral Sword out. Um, so I'm going to summon this and then activate its effect. And do I want to chain it to this? No, thank you. Now I can get this one or I can get this one. Um, this says, if this card is in your yard, except to turn this card was sent to the yard, you can target a non-tuner monster in your graveyard and banish it and then special summon Right, right, right. Um, or this one says, you can tribute this card, then target two of your banished zombie monsters, except this, and special summon them in defense position, but negate their effects. Um, okay. I think I want this one, I guess. Um, okay, put it over here. And then, if I wanted to special summon, I could bring out my samurai, right? But I don't have any banished monsters at the moment. So instead, let's do this and activate it in special summon. And what do we want to do? Um... Do any of these do anything from the yard?
No, but um Uh let's put this gosh. Um let me put this in my yard. And then um, we will special summon. Um, but this won't work because I already did this. So I can't do that one. I could do this, though. This will not work. Oh, okay. If this card is sent to the f from the field to the graveyard as a synchro material, you can add one Shiranui card from your deck uh, to your hand. This seems good. So let's get the smith out there and um, just put him here. And then now um, I can synchro. I can also do this, right, where it says banish one monster from your graveyard. Actually, if I do this, then I get to just kill their guy. Because if I activate this effect, I can banish um, the, the Spirit Master. And it says, um, if this card is banished, you can target one face-up card that they control and destroy it, right? So, let me think about that. But let's see who I could special summon. Oh, gosh. I could get, like, a level 10. Look at this thing. If this card is special summoned, or you can return any number of zombie synchro monsters that are banished or in your graveyard to the extra deck, and then you can destroy cards your opponent controls equal to the number of cards returned. Wow. Alright. Very nice. Okay, anyway, we won't do that yet. Um... Let me try this. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to banish this. And I'm going to activate the effect. And I'm going to destroy that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is go in here and... I mean, I could get this, which is pretty good. Or I could get this, but no, I think I want this one. Put this down. Now we're going to activate this guy's ability. And we're going to add a card from our deck to our hand. Which, let's see, what does this do? Tribute one zombie type monster, then target two cards on the field, destroy them, then banish one card from your deck. Oh, that's really good. Um, it's not great right now, but it's good next turn. This would let us, um, what is this? Uh-huh. Honestly, this is also good, but I like... This card just seems really, really good um, for taking out any response that they have next turn. I can't use it right now because uh, I don't have anything extra on the field, but I'll just go into battle and hit him in the face. And, uh, main two, enter. Okay. And now they've done this. 
Um, but we don't want to activate this right now because um, I don't want to tribute my own card right now. Nice. All right, cool. All right, so here's what we can do. Um, what is the effect that we can do here? What does this say? If this card's in your graveyard, um, you can target one non-tuner zombie mob during your graveyard, banish both it and this card. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to do that for sure. Um, that's definite. And then what else do we want to do? Um... Alright, I'm going to summon this to over here. And then what I'm going to do is, I, I don't think I can... Can I just activate my trap right now? I kind of want to. Just kill their cards here. All right, so now their cards are gone, and we get to banish something, and so, uh... Let's see. What, what do we have that, like, gets an effect if it gets banished? Oh, okay, that's good. Let's We can bounce something back to our hand. And, um, I'd say we probably want... Yeah, the Squire is nice for next turn, I guess. All right. Now, um, let me activate the effect of this. And um, mm, I'm going to get this. And then we're going to do this here. There we go. And um, we don't need to do this. And then if we activate the effect of this... Um, I don't really need to do this, but I can just do this. Um, to get more stuff on the field. And we can activate this, and then um, we can special summon, uh, you know, this guy, I guess. Let's get more attack on the field. Oh, that wasn't... I, I thought I clicked something else. Whoops. Um, interesting. All right, let's get this dude. And we'll do this and this. Okay. Great. Activate the effect. Um, the effect of this is what? If this card is special summoned, you can banish one zombie monster from your graveyard. This card gains attack equals to its original attack until the end of the turn. Oh, yeah, great. Do that. <laughs> yeah, banish that one. How about that? That's pretty hilarious. All right, let's go. Here you go, buddy. That's funny. Nice. Okay, cool. We've cleared it. A fire orb. Fantastic. All right. Let's check out the end of the scenario. Though the world of humans had become peaceful, the battle between the Shiranui style and the specters continued. The Shiranui Samurai and the spirit of the founder united in the Shiranui Shogun, um, Shogun Saga. 
He slashed a great many specters, but he could not eradicate them. The Shiranui samurai was highly trained mentally and physically and possessed great skill, but they couldn't reproduce the grandeur of the Founder's battle prowess. To seal off the specters, comrades of the Shiranui style rushed to prepare the final measures. The specters had n that noticed this sieged upon the fort that acted as their base. Meanwhile, the Shiranui style were readying the Shiranui style samsara. By combining Shiranui Spirit Master and Shiranui Solitaire, there they created a so-called gate connecting their world and the spirit world. What is to be done with that gate? In the cold atmosphere, the practitioner's chants reverberated. The specters surrounded the fort and gradually focused their siege. At the peak of the practitioner's chants, the ultimate Shiranui-style force appeared through the gate, the Founder and Apex. It was the form of Shiranugi Sun Saga. The specters were terrified. Among the specters, some still remembered being felled by this young samurai. The power of the Shiranui Sun Saga was tremendous, and he cut down the remaining specters and successfully sealed them away. And so the war raged for hundreds of years between the Shiranui style and the specters came to an end. All right. So that horsebacked samurai was the secret, and we got the structure deck, heir to the Shiranui style. Nice. Okay, cool. And we found a new card pack. Um, no, we don't need to go to the store right now. All right. Uh, we can unlock this gate, I'm sure, right? Yeah. Crack it. And let's see. What's the reward if I beat it? Um, I get some some cards here. What is this card? I get free range monsters times three. All right. Let's go for it. We're going to try this with our Dragon Maid deck. Okay. They get to go first, huh? Uh-oh. Spectral Sword on the field. All right. My turn. Okay. Um. Fantastic. Let's see. Uh. Okay. So what's Pot of Prosperity? And get three cards. To check out a card. All right. Hospitality probably is the play here. Um, but the thing is, we're going to chamber, right? And I don't have anything to actually summon with it. I think I'll just take Lightning Storm and blow up their trap, honestly. Okay, and then we can summon Chamber, activate her effect. Nope. And let's go ahead and get... Um, it's either do I want tidying or uh, I can't really do much with changeover right now because I don't have any other cards and hospitality um, I don't have anything to, to fetch so I need some more cards so tidying is perfect for this okay um, now with Chamber, let's see. No, yeah, I still can't um, make it make it happen the way that I I want. Um, so we'll set tidying. Um, we'll set this and we'll set this I could um, you know link out Pitsy or whatever or Striker and get rid of Chamber and then Monster Reborn and if I would have picked up Changeover 
then I could have maybe put out house. Um, but I don't think that that's the right play for myself at the moment. Um, but I should have put uh, chamber into defense position, I think, because I, I can't. I need to fight that. So let me see if I special summon. Um, what's your attack? A thousand. Great. Okay, so let's do this then. Um, so that we can, at the very least, kill their card. Okay. Um. I'm just going to go to battle phase, and I'm going to just break that. And then let's go to main two. And I will activate this. I need a dragon maid on the field for my tidyings, so let's get this for myself. And put her in defense right here. And I could... I could link away and get spheres right now. Um, but then I wouldn't have anything for tidying, so I'm not going to. Alright. So they're putting out this card, uh, which is their normal summon. And so I'm just going to uh, return it to the hand. Oh, you know what? That was just a misreading for me. So Dragon Maid Tidying actually just takes a dragon card, so I could be using the Striker Dragon um, to bounce stuff as well. And I need to remember that. Um, what is this? Uh, let's get rid of that card, absolutely. I have to discard a card, um, and I'm actually going to discard uh, Ash. I could, you know, the thing is, like, mm. no, 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 let's, actually, let's send uh, Chamber then, because I can just use Tidying in the yard to get her back. All right, my turn. Hey, hey, nice, okay. Uh, so what we will do immediately, um, I, I mean, this is like, if I do this, I can special summon, um, chamber and then send something else. So I'm going to do this because I want the, I want to use the send effect from hospitality. And then I want to get changeover. Okay. Um. Oh, I thought I got to send something. Maybe I misread that. Uh. Oh, no, no, no. You can only send... Uh... Oh, maybe there is no... Maybe... Oh, because she's dark. Maybe I don't have any more dark dragon maids um, to do that with. So, okay. Um, now, the question is... I think I want to get house instead of spheres. So I will.
So I'll get house. And then in this spot, um, what we can now do is we can activate the effect of uh, tidying. And special summon chamber right here. Now she won't do anything, but if we activate um, changeover, we can get this back into our hand. And then what I could do is summon Xiao. Um, and then... Mm, no, this is okay. I don't need to do that. And I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm going to wait. I have a tidying out um, as a trap. I kind of forgot that Chamber came back to the hand like that. That's my own fault. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Ouch. Okay, well. Here we go. Okay. Um, no thanks. And we will get... Um, hospitality. Okay. And then... Um... This only kills face up, though, right? Oh, no, I can just target anything. Okay. All right, then. Let me activate the effect of changeover. Return this to the hand. And then activate her effect. And bust that up. And then... No thanks. Alright. And then what we can do... Is... I can change over here... And I can get another house. And we can win. This is just going for the kill. Like, this is not setting up an impressive board or something like that. Um, but that's okay. And there we go. Got him. Fantastic. Okay, cool. And we won. And we got these cards. And we completed a scenario. Um, and we're unlocking even more from solo mode, and we complete an unlimited mission, which uh, gives us... Oh, we got Synchro of Unity. We got a new deck um, from the unlimited mission, so that's pretty cool. And we're just getting more and more stuff together. We're up to 7,300 gems, and things are going great. Everyone, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. I'll check you next time. Take care.